What's going on, Real Bite TV? It's your boy Chris here. Now, I'm in my truck, as you see, guys. I'm in the F 150 today. And um, I think I finally finished my layout for how I want to set my truck up with the proper mounts and uh, molly pouches. So, just to let you guys know, as a heads up, um, we're almost at 600 subscribers. So, hit that like button, um, drop a comment down below. Appreciate it. Two, as a heads up, now, the things I'm about to show you guys, I don't, I don't want you guys to think that I leave these things in my truck because me personally, I don't believe in truck guns. I don't believe in leaving anything expensive or worth value in your vehicle, period. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where I am. I don't believe in leaving things of value in your car, period. Just from personal experiences and common sense. I mean, you leave a gun in your car, you're gonna have some issues. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys my gun mount. Now, I have a gun mount I got off of Amazon. It was 20 bucks. For the whole little mount, I mean 19 is on the plus tag, like 20 bucks. And then on, on the driver's side, I got a little pouch as well set up on the back of the seat. And I actually have my shotgun with me, guys. That's right. I have my shotgun mounted on the seat mount. So again, just remember, this shotgun does not sit in my car 24-7. It doesn't sit around my car while I'm driving around town doing grocery runs. It's just like I guess you could say just to have a mount. Or maybe if I'm going to work and I want to carry a rifle. Or something like that, or if I'm doing a private investigator job, or who knows. The point is, the guy, the guy's not here just to be. I don't just ride around the city with a shotgun strapped to my seat. That's excessive, and I don't keep it in my car. Definitely don't do that. Oh no, definitely don't just keep the shotgun in my uh, in my car. That'd be kind of dumb. But without further ado, guys, let's go. All right, just a quick update of how the truck's looking. Um, as you see, I got five percent tent because I am a private investigator. I do that my part time, so you can't see uh, pretty much nothing. Um, interior is basically the same now I did add on this basic seat cover I mean as you see because when I'm driving to work to and from work my duty belt messes up my leather like on this side I have like a baton and handcuffs and that's messing up my leather on this side and my my uh the handle of my Glock for, that I carry on my duty belt is digging into my seat so I gotta just basically old cheap old uh, seat cover just to hold that on there now let's get to the side Number two, guys. All right. So on this side of the truck, I keep my hat because you know it's in Florida, it's always hot. Got this seat pouch here. It has a couple pouches. One, two, three, four, five, five pouches. Oh, yeah, five pouches. Two big ones and three small ones up top that you can put a decent amount of stuff in. Now, this was given to me as a friend, um, by a friend. So I don't have the link or anything like that to it. But this is why I just keep basic stuff. Um, just some extra masks because COVID and. Apparently some some hooks because you guys know fishing channel and uh, this assortment of like gloves and um, the alley key set that I had for a moving job now I keep my back seat pretty clean um, I got the rifle case but it's, it's just here to transport that for the video because I can't just take a rifle out of my house and walk to my truck um, it's a good little distance and um, <laughs> get charged with open carry but that's why that's there um, I got my new sun visor in this is basically just to, for this that's front windshield when I'm at work, but that's pretty much it for the seat. Now, you guys are probably looking forward to that mount over there, so let's head over on the that side of the truck and show you what's going on. All right, let's show you guys this side of the truck. Boom. Now, obviously the sunroof's open, so got a little more lighting here for the 5% tent, but here she is, guys. Here is my mount. There you go, focus, there we go. This is basically the mount that I have. Let me let me open this door to get some more light. Like I was saying, guys, I don't keep this gun mounted in my car 24/7. Only if I absolutely need it, that's when it's here. So if you get the idea, is oh, you're Chris, I'm gonna find your truck and I'm gonna steal your gun. And you're not gonna find a gun here, but I mean, it's pretty tall. I got about that far from the roof. Don't worry, guys, it's not loaded. Um, but that's basically it. Now in this pouch, again, it's the IFAT kit. Um, I have my safety scissors behind the shotgun. Um, which is not a good spot. I probably gotta move that somewhere else. But then the scissors were here because I just added this on literally like two minutes ago. Um, I keep a spare knife, pocket knife. I got two slugs behind the shotgun where it's mounted. And then in this little pouch here, I keep four buckshot rounds for the shotgun. So let's just say hypothetically I go on a camping trip or something, or I don't know, who knows. But if I need to have a shotgun, this is where it would be. And there's also two little pouches. Um, so you can put a second gun here and mount that here and I probably have to move this to that side where it used to be But that's basically my shotgun setup guys So that's basically it guys. Um, like I said, this pouch was 18 bucks 
I think 20 bucks half the taxes um, for this little mount. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's cheap. It's not something expensive. IFAT kit, knife, um, just spare rounds for this if this is ever here. And that's basically it. And same thing for that side. Just some little storage because in this truck, there's not much storage when you got the speaker thing here. And on that side, I got, as you see, jumper cables and fishing rod and assortment of things. That's pretty much the only storage you have in this truck. Now, this is a big truck. But storage isn't really that big when it comes to the interior side. But that's basically it, guys. All right, guys. So that's basically it for the video. Um, thanks for watching. Just a little short little video showing you guys my truck setup. I guess you call it truck setup. So if you like the video, leave a like, share, subscribe, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.